this is at um, Grocery Outlet in Oregon. This is the Oregon Department of Human Services. Help brothers and sisters stick together. Brothers and sisters entering foster care need each other now more than ever. Become a foster parent and make a difference for brothers and sisters. Visit us online or call to learn how to help today. Reach out to an Oregon child foster OregonAdopt.com DHS Safety, Health, and Independence for All Oregonians. So this is the advertisement that's going on all around. You got smiling kids and they are marketing for foster parents. So they have this um, poster up at several public locations and I just want to say that we really need to take a close look at what's going on and we need to understand that this is a multi-billion or trillion dollar industry that is adopting children, exchanging money between countless individuals for profit for cash. And all of these corporations can be found on Dun and Brad Street to show that they are for profit corporations. So, what can we do as individuals to actually make this world a better place? And that is to speak out about the corruption that is going on. And um, all of this advertisement, all of these adoption, <clears throat> excuse me, sites that are online. Are basically going off of the animal adoptions they started off with the animals and you could go on and you could see you know this dog or this cat and you could select which one you wanted well now you can go on and you can select which child you want and it will tell about the child and you can see their pictures tell the narrative that they want to give and this whole keeping brothers and sisters together yes that's important but it's important to keep them together in their homes and if there is abuse and neglect that has occurred then it needs to go before a true court of record before a jury of one's peers to make sure that justice is served and that corruption doesn't take over and the greed from all of these people who have a lot of investment in this corporate world and this um, big business going on. They have time, energy, money. They have the um, kudos from so many people saying good job and that's such a hard job to go into. Well, I encourage everyone to do some further research. Research late Congresswoman Nancy Schaefer and Miss Jennifer Wynn, who ran for the governor in Kansas. And just look up the truth about CPS. You can go on YouTube. There's countless people telling their stories, trying to get the word out because the mainstream news is only going to give the spun narrative that they want to give to propagate their business to keep going. Because that's how wickedness works and that's how these corporations work. They will they support one another. They are not there for the people as a whole. These crimes against humanity are being enforced and supported by one corporate agency after the other. Whether it's the corrupt police who are not constitutional. Whether it's the caseworkers or social workers, whether it's the educational systems in place today. You have mental health counselors, psychiatrists, people who are contracted with this corporation and making money off of children and parents forcing services, saying they're voluntary, but they are not. You are made to jump through all kinds of hoops 
And all of this is being done under the color of law. Hospitals are involved, the schools are involved, meaning all of them contract together. And yes, we care about safety and protection of children, but this is not for the safety and protection of children. This is about big corporations abusing and human trafficking children, whether it's the immigrants who are crossing the borders, which is completely being orchestrated by people who just don't care, or it's the so-called American children, or other children around the world, because this is a worldwide problem. So when you see these signs, and you see these for-profit churches and, and all of that who are trying to get you involved in helping children, do everyone a favor and do research and make sure that you are actually advocating and becoming part of the solution instead of the problem. Because until people wake up and really see the reality of this professional criminal enterprise, this cartel, and those who are running it behind the scenes, one family after the other is going to be destroyed. We care about children being healthy. We care about families being healthy and being together. That's why I went to school to become a counselor. But when you actually see what's going on, you can make a choice to do things differently. You have to step outside of the box. And this system will try to pull you back in. They'll spit you out if you do that. But that's when it comes to grassroots and the people taking a stand and using their voices to actually support one another and to support children and our families and our communities. If people don't stop this, there won't be any families left to speak up. Also, one last thing before I stop, I just want to talk about parental um, just rights and how they've been terminated. Tens of thousands of parents have had their parental rights, their their rights from the Most High taken by these corrupt people. And there have been countless people who have been silenced and who have committed suicide because of the hurt and the trauma, the disparity, the hopelessness and helplessness that parents feel because no one really listens to them. They're seen as criminals, even though in these kangaroo courts, they use different language and they just say that um, these are allegations and we substantiate them using the lowest standard of proof, which is a preponderance of evidence, to tear one family apart after the other. So if you want to help, then you will decide to go down a path that actually is supporting families, helping them, and speaking about what's going on to expose all of this. Don't believe me. I, I, re, I encourage you to go out and to just... Um, do the research and to listen to the testimonies of hundreds of thousands of parents. Because like Jennifer Wynn says, hundreds of thousands of parents can't be liars. Hundreds of thousands of children being trafficked, I can't even talk, trafficked in this nation. And the trauma that we see and the damage are not liars. So help put an end to this abuse and neglect by these for-profit corporations because that's what this business is run off of. It's not run off of true abuse and neglect by parents like they want you to believe. Thank you for taking the time to listen and for doing your part to end the corruption and to bring families together and keep them together. Shalom.